Okay, so here we are in Moto, and uh, we're going to get our blueprints set up for our car modeling. As I explained to you in the Photoshop um, tutorial on how to get those ready. And basically what we do is we want to first of all import those images. So we click here on the Images tab, go on the Load Images, and we'll just find those um, images. There's back 02. There is side 02. There's top 02. And there is front 02. I'm just going to click open. It'll load all those images in. Then in the items tab, we're going to go ahead and click on new item and black backdrop item. I'm going to duplicate that because we need four of them. And then I'm going to duplicate both of those. Okay, and then I'm going to start to name them. So I'll just name this one top. And I'm right clicking and hitting rename. Call this side. You can also click on it. Wait a second, click again. And that will allow you to edit that. I'll call this front. Call this back. Okay, and then we want to associate our images with the various backdrop items. So we'll just go ahead here into the uh, top one, click on properties, and we want to make this projection type top, and image top, okay, click on the side, do the same thing for that, click on, uh, we can do left or right, and I'm going to go click on side, and the front, uh, the image Projection type is front, of course, and I'll select the front image. And then on the back one, okay. Now, one thing I notice is that this top one always seems to come in rotated. So, um, all I gotta do to fix that is go in here to the rotation on the back, or excuse me, on the top, and uh, in the y axis, type in minus 90. Okay, hit the tab key, and, and you're done. Now, um, a lot of people model like this. Actually, I'm going to go in here for a minute to Advanced OpenGL, and I'm going to turn off trackball rotation. It's just a personal preference I like. It's easier for me to rotate things. Um, a lot of people model like this. A, a lot of people model um, where they'll take, let's say, the top, and I'm moving this down right here, and they'll take the back, and they'll move this here and then we'll take the front this over here and then the side and just move it off to the side now that's fine and that works in a lot of programs um, and you can do things that way however um, what I found is that when you're modeling um, you're trying to look through the viewports you have to move things around Sometimes you got to turn things on and off just so you can see what you're doing. So um, the good thing about the backdrop item is no matter how far away you move this in space, it's not like a plane. It's not going to um, change the size of what you're looking at. So you can just move this way off into the distance. Move this top one way down here and then this back one way over here so that you get plenty of room to maneuver around uh, your model and then in your model quad view of course you want to select left here and um, so everything's lined up for you um, but another good thing about the backdrop item is as you see, if I go ahead and I kind of drag this down, by the way, I'm holding Alt and Shift and using my left mouse button to drag. And you'll see that as I drag the top view towards the front of the car, that the left view is actually going towards the front of the car as well. And if I were to drag uh, this over to the side, they're kind of synchronized. So if I wanted to zoom way into these lights, to work on the lights, you'd see that the front view and the top view also zoom in as well as the left view so that I don't have to individually um, drag on all these 
uh, different viewports to get everything lined up. Okay. Uh, now another thing you can do is for a lot of people this this um, is a little bit too bright to work on. I told you I was going to show you how to adjust the contrast here. So basically what you do is go into, uh, I'll say I'll select the front one since we're looking at that one right there. Click on properties. And, and then right here in brightness you can drop this down to about minus 60. Just press the tab key and it's a little bit easier to work on uh, like that. I'm going to do that for all of them so I'll just copy this do this in all of my paste it into all the brightnesses and all of my backdrop items okay and then I'm going to select shift select all of these right click and choose parent to group locator and then just rename this to backdrops so that way if I do need to, for some reason I want to turn them off just to do a preliminary render to see what my scene looks like I can just, just shut them all off by clicking on the eyeball right here okay so that's how you uh, get your blueprint set up and in the next video we're gonna get started modeling